Spider-Man has had many love interests over his years at Marvel Comics, but few have had as lasting an impact as Mary Jane Watson, a character who proved so popular with fans, she dethroned his intended endgame relationship with Gwen Stacy. Fully revealed in The Amazing Spider-Man 42 in 1967, artist John Romita Sr. had a very specific inspiration in mind when designing her look. That was Anne Margaret, with a special focus on her look in the film Bye Bye Birdie. He used her as a model for skin tone, hair color, face shape, and also figure, so basically everything. Although MJ's hair ended up being a great deal more red, that lovely unattainable without Chemicals fictional red. I love that red. Bye Bye Birdie was the film that cemented Margaret as a major star, and a review claimed that her torrid dancing almost replaces the central heating in the theater. Torrid. There's a word you don't hear often. Mary Jane would go on to have an aura all her own, and the minds of many is entirely separate from the actress who inspired her looks. I guess Peter isn't the only one who hit the jackpot.